Paragliding is a form of extreme sport founded in the early 1980s by people who were interested in aerial sports. Iten, in Kenya's Rift Valley region, may be best known for its long-distance runners, but a few locals have also taken up paragliding. They use the knowledge shared by foreign paragliders who trained them and take to the skies when the weather is friendly. Well, Kista Nyabwa tells us more. With a little pull here, a tug there, and a running start, Peter Kibet Karanja ascends to the sky on wings that seem as light as air. He quickly turns into a speck, turning this way and that as the wind carries his parachute across the valley. For over 15 years, Peter has been a common sight in Kenya's Kerio Valley, first as he learnt the ropes and then as a passionate paraglider, borne by brightly coloured wings. It all started when he was seven. He saw several foreign tourists who visited the area to paraglide. Peter made his own wings from polythene bags. They never took off, but they caught the eye of an instructor. I find a friend called Marcos from Germany and he teach me how to paraglide because they saw, uh, they saw that uh, polythene paper I made. As Peter's skills grew, his friends helped him acquire better equipment. On days when the sky is clear and the wind friendly, he spends hours in the air. When I'm up there, I play some music and dance or do maneuvers. It's nice. Sometimes I whistle to call the bands and we play. I'm careful, of course. Peter is one of nine Kenyan paragliders who make up the Kenya paragliding group. To earn a little money, he teaches locals and foreigners the basics. The thermal currents in these escarpments provide a lift that enables paragliding pilots to enjoy long flights over scenic landscapes. In 2017, paragliding in Kerio was halted after a Czech glider fell to his death. But now the gliders are back. Foreigners register with the Paragliding Association of Kenya. Locals, however, are still seeking support. I think my future lies in paragliding because it's my talent and it's also a sport. Abroad, it's both. So we would like the government to help us to get equipment to train others so that we can establish the sport and compete abroad with others. A few years back, Peter suffered a crash. Basic paragliding equipment can cost between three to six thousand dollars per person. So by day, Peter works at a nearby restaurant, saving up to fund his passion. His home falls under the greater Eton town, the home of athletic champions. He too dreams of one day making his hometown and his country proud. The Kerio Valley region is one of the few places in the country where one can take part in paragliding activities, an activity that sets the heart racing and paragliders in Kenya say with more government support they will be able to share their passion with the world. Wilkes Anyabwa, CGTN in Kerio Valley, Kenya.